So I love Super Mario Mysteries, specifically the more creepy ones. And hearing that probably comes to no surprise because I've covered a multitude of different mysteries on this channel, from UFOs in the sky, to weird ghosts that follow you through levels, to even a giant ghost beneath a train that is haunting the entire level. But probably the most iconic out of any of these is the Hell Valley Sky Trees from Super Mario Galaxy 2. And the reason I say this is because most players actually stumbled upon these, unlike the other things. All you had to do was look above you in Shiverburn Galaxy, and you would see these looming figures looking over the canyon side. Now I made a video back in these creepy fellas back in, uh... 2018, I think it was. But recently there's been an update in terms of their appearance, surprisingly. I'll talk about that in just a second, but let's briefly recap for those of you who didn't watch the last video and quickly talk about the discoveries that were made in that year. Okay, so you head to World 5, you choose Shiverburn Galaxy, you look in the sky and you see these creepy things looking down upon you. Now the thing is, most players only see three of these, but there is actually four. The fourth one is just hidden behind the wall and you can't see it through the game's normal camera. And these things are really far away and they are tethered to the skybox. Meaning, if I were to try to travel to the Hell Valley sky trees by like a flying hack, I would actually never reach them. Well, that's untrue, I would technically reach them, but it would take months and months of travel time. So some of these giant creatures have arms and others don't. And there are four in total, like I said. So the truth is these are actually just textures up against the skybox. So now let's talk about the discoveries that were made surrounding these things. So for starters, knowing that there was four instead of three was something that was found out. But the big discovery that I was able to make was I took these into an editor and I was able to compare the size of Mario to the actual Hell Valley sky trees. That's something I haven't seen online before because no one really talks about the size of these things. They more so talk about how creepy they are and just the fact that they're watching you. But to be that size where they are and still be visible from that far away, they're huge. They're absolutely huge. In fact, the bigger ones with the arms are about 100 times the size of Mario, if not more. And you know, that kind of makes this whole thing a lot more creepy, right? The fact that these things are indeed giants that could just squash Mario or Luigi with barely any effort at all. All right, so now let's put 2010 aside and we're fast forwarding to 2021 E3 Nintendo Direct. And it's actually kind of interesting because I didn't actually look at this the first time and immediately think, oh, Hell Valley Skytree. I was sucked into the Nintendo Direct waiting for Breath of the Wild 2 and other releases. So it wasn't until I went back and looked at the WarioWare Get It Together trailer again for the second time, did I notice what I actually looked over. So in one of the mini games in this game, you have to twirl a windmill on screen. And when you do this, there is a giant black figure in the background that has the droopy arms, just like a Hell Valley sky tree. It has the two circle eyes, but it rises out of the tree line and grows bigger and bigger and bigger the more you twirl this windmill. But here's the thing, this is the first inclusion of this figure or something that represents this figure in 11 years, over a decade. And now you could argue this is just a shadowy figure, right? But it's the size, man. It is the size. It is the looming presence from the skybox that makes it the Hell Valley sky tree for me. I mean, think about it. Look, look at these trees that you see. You can see how tall this thing gets. I mean, it is absolutely massive. And the thing is, it's probably far behind these trees too. It's not immediately right behind the tree. It's way beyond them. And probably the most bizarre thing is that it grows to this size and then it grows a mouth. It actually moves its arms so we can see it's more of like a humanoid type figure, not a droopy ghost like we thought it was before, and it has a smiley face, which is bizarre to me. But I guess, you know, they're using that to obviously show that you completed the minigame. Now I know this is a long shot and probably not true at all, but part of me really hopes someone saw my video talking about the scale of these things, something that no one else has talked about online before, and somehow this influenced this shadowy figure in this WarioWare minigame then it shows that they weren't actually in shadow before because they were pitch black in the game. But in fact, they are even pitch black in broad daylight. But anyways, I just want to make a quick video talking about this update. When you guys watched the trailer at E3 and you saw this, did you immediately think of the Hell Valley Skytrees too? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you all soon. Cheers.